In this video, we will be installing the Ubuntu on VirtualBox. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is download and install the VirtualBox. To do that, first open up your browser, go to google.com and search for VirtualBox and then press enter. Click on the first link which says Oracle VM VirtualBox. The URL is virtualbox.org. From here, click the big blue icon, download VirtualBox 7.0. Here, under the latest version of VirtualBox, which is 7.0.12 platform packages, click on Windows Host and your download will begin. After the download is finished, open the folder that your file got downloaded on. I can confirm this is the file that just got downloaded into the downloads folder. So I'll double click on the file and my installation process will begin. First, click on Next. You can change the default installation path if you want, but I will keep it as default and click on Next. Proceed with the installation now. Yes. And finally, click on Install. After the installation is finished, click on finish and my virtual box has started. I'm reinstalling the virtual box. That's why my previous virtual machines are here. But for you, it will be completely empty. And as you can also see, the icon of virtual box is in my desktop. The next thing we have to do is to download the ISO image of Ubuntu. So to do that, open your browser again and go to google.com and search for Ubuntu download and then press enter. Click on the first link which says download Ubuntu desktop. The URL is ubuntu.com forward slash download forward slash desktop. And from here, you have different versions of Ubuntu. Ubuntu 22.04.3 is the current version. So I'll be downloading this one. So click on download 22.04.3 and your download will begin. Wait for the download to get completed. After the downloading is finished, I will open the folder that my file got downloaded on. I can confirm this is the ISO image that just got downloaded into the downloads folder. So next, I will start my virtual box and first click on new. I will name my virtual machine Ubuntu. I will keep the folder as default, but if you want to change, you can select the drop down from here and click on other and change your default path. From the ISO image, click on the drop down and click on other. Under downloads, I can see this is the ISO image that just got downloaded. So I'll select this one and click on open. I will select skip unattended installation and then click on next. The base memory, which is the RAM, I'll be allocating 6 GB and the processor I'll be increasing to 2 CPU, but you can choose according to your own hardware requirements and then click on next. Select create a virtual hard disk now and increase the disk size according to your own hardware requirement. I'll be increasing to 61 GB and then click on next. And then finally click on finish. And now I can confirm that my Ubuntu virtual machine has been created inside my virtual box manager. So first I'll click on settings. From the settings options, I can do the configuration changes again. For example, if I go under system, I can change the memory again. Under processor, I can increase again. And if I select a display, the video memory I'll increase to 128 MB. And there are other configuration changes you can do, but I will not do anything for now. I'll keep everything as default and then click on OK. And then finally click on start. Press enter on try or install Ubuntu. And now our installation process has begun. You can choose the language from the left side. I will keep it as English and then click on install Ubuntu. You have the option to change the keyboard layout, but I will keep it as English US and then click on continue. I will select normal installation and I'll uncheck download updates while installing Ubuntu and then click on continue. Keep erase disk and install Ubuntu selected and then click on install now. Click continue. Choose the location you're from. I live in Tokyo, so that's why I selected Tokyo and then click on continue. Type in your name and choose a password. I will select require my password to log in and click on continue and my installation will start. Wait for the installation to finish. After the installation is completed, click on restart now. Press enter. Press enter again and type your password that you created earlier. And as you can see, my Ubuntu has started. There is this only one problem. The resolution is not full screen. So to make it full screen, click on devices, click on insert guest edition CD image. And as you can see on the left, I have a disk icon. Click on the disk icon and this folder will open. On this folder, right click and click on open in terminal. In the terminal, I will type ls to list the content of this directory. In this directory, I have a file called bboxlinuxeditions.run. I will copy this file and type sudo space dot forward slash and paste the name of the file and press enter and type the password that I created earlier and it is going to install the additional modules which will let us use the full screen. So wait for the installation to complete. After the installation is completed, 
click on the upper right corner and there you will see power of logout click on that and click on restart and click on restart again we have to restart our machine for the changes to take place press enter and type your password again and now if i click on view and full screen and click on switch i can see that i'm using the ubuntu in full screen so that is how you install ubuntu in virtualbox that is for the end of the video thank you so much for watching